That was Shirley Ellis. Remember Shirley Ellis? No. no. Song she was famous for? The Not clapping singing. song. Remember the clapping song? How did it go? God. <laughs> it went. Three, six, nine, the goose drank wine, the monkey chewed tobacco on the street car line, the lion rode, the monkey got choked, and they all went to heaven in a little rowboat. What a load of absolute cobblers. Um, so with us in the studio today, Charlie Nicholas, Phil Thompson, Paul Merson, and Matt Letissier. As David Garrido said a moment or two ago, <laughs> there is only one Alan McAnally. Thank God for that. See, yeah, well, we were, you got there before. <laughs> you, the 140th Fondwell has just been won by a horse called Beautiful People, which I've got a tiny little share in. That's all. It's one again. And so, you, you boys all backed right. him. We, you boys we, all backed him, didn't you? We're talking about Cardiff City here, Jeff. <laughs> oh, was that where we were? <laughs> <laughs> Your professional head back on. So, so, what about the League One leaders? Uh, Portsmouth at Fratton Park. They were behind. They're now level. Can they go and win this now? Paul Walsh. <laughs> at what point did you hear me say they didn't deserve anything? No, you did. I said they might have been going into this game on the back of two 1 0 defeats. Listen to the man. Listen to the man. He's trying to talk. Oh, you want me to talk? Yes, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this should be good. Uh, no, I just. <laughs> By the way, Brentford reduced me to tears this week. Absolutely to tears. Three years ago, I noticed that Josh McEachern had scored, I think, for the under-21s. Midfield player, of course, has never scored for Brentford. So religiously, when I do my stats, I started to write down Josh McEachern, no goal in 100, no goal in 101, no goal in 102, no goal in 135, 136, 137, no goal in 186, 187. And last weekend, no goal in 188 games. As I waited for the moment that I could tell the world that Josh McEachern had scored his first goal in 189 yeah. appearances. What does he do? He scored in midweek on a Tuesday <laughs> when Julian Warren was doing the soccer special. Oh, lovely Julian. Did you not lend him the stats? All that work. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him anything. <laughs> <laughs> All that work. <laughs> and he, three years of work. Uh, he's on the bench today. He deserves to be. Uh, on the bench today. Three years of work down the Pan. Dubious goals panel could rule that out, yet. Yeah. yeah, well, I was good. I've appealed to the dubious goals panel. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it went through the keeper's hands. It should never have counted. Uh, if it doesn't work out, uh, again, speaking to his mum this week, Slavisa Yukanovic, his mum said, don't worry, son, if it all ends, you speak so many languages, you can work as a hotel receptionist. <laughs> he would be the scariest hotel receptionist in You're the right. world, wouldn't he? That hotel <laughs> must pay some money. <laughs> in you go. So there you go, 1-0 the WAW. Jeff Sterling, you're next. Yeah, he's done. He's dead. That's him done. Who's Jeff Sterling? <laughs> one bout. One bout he thinks he's giant snowflakes. I mean <laughs> even I can say Sterling. <laughs> you need a tag team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very popular okay. you, Jeff. Sorry? <laughs> Very popular, you. <laughs> well, we, we, we wish Graham Holt the best in his wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Do you think David Silva doesn't keep the ball more than what Zaha does? I don't remember him giving it. And there's been a few but, challenges on David Silva. But, but he is not the not, one standout player in their side. They've got a whole load of ball players. They've got Sterling right. and Sane and Aguero. So and, are we going to target all You're going to kick them all. We're going to no, kick them all, right? You, with Palace, you know who you can target. Oh, do me a favour. <laughs> Forget it. I can't wait for Tess to get back till I get back in the road. I need to get back in the road. I can't stand it in here. Here's an interesting discussion point. Who prefers dark chocolate Kit Kats to milk chocolate? Uh, milk chocolate. Kit Kats. Milk and chocolate. is there a geographical divide Ooh. between north and south? Because Tom has this theory that northerners only like milk chocolate Kit Kats. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm a northerner, and I like dark you're chocolate. Not you're not, you're not, you're not a northerner. I'm a northerner. You're not northerner. Not no, you're not. You're you right. stand up for Newcastle you occasionally every weekend. Charlie, Charlie, he needs protection. Yeah, he needs protection. You on tell you. us every Friday now. You I are like well there. <laughs> you are a and warm weather snob. 
down in the south. Yeah, this is seriously, seriously, <laughs> seriously <laughs> loose men. I tell you what. This is I wish I could get loose I, men. This loose is. men. This is. I'm going to apply for <laughs> gagging orders against you four. <laughs> I think they still win, but I don't think they win that emphatic. Mm. Sit sixth emphatic, in the table. Emphatic. Where did that Nefferson come from? Nefferson, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was wrong, of course. <laughs> was it? It should have been emphatically. Oh, right. I don't think they win that emphatically. Oh, you just killed them. Oh, you've just down, killed them. You've <laughs> just killed them. Thank like you, Johnny. Of glory. <laughs> See, you're, you're the Tim Ream of this studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, the, you're, the you're my shambolic teammate. <laughs>